thought I'd make a real quick video. It's now a little bit after 10 o'clock p.m. local time, or 0 to 12 UTC, and I'm using the shortened 40 meter rotatable dipole. It's up at around 70 feet, and I'm really impressed at how well it does at receiving VLF signals. We've got um, a lot of thunderstorm activity to our south uh, in the southern states, <clears throat> so I'm picking up a lot of crashes. But I just want to very quickly go over this list that I've uh, put together. This here is 18.3 uh, kilohertz this particular station is from from France. We have a, another trace here at uh, 20.27. Let me if you center it up here. Here we go. So it's pretty weak, but you can still make it out. That uh, that's an Italian station here at uh, 21.4 we have the station from uh, Hawaii <clears throat> very very impressed with that 23.5 kilohertz here. It's pretty weak, but you can clearly make out the trace in the waterfall. We'll have to keep an eye on it. But uh, 23.4 is from uh, Germany. So I'm really, really happy with how well uh, that's working out. Of course we have uh, a big monster here at 24 kilohertz, that's from uh, Cutler, Maine. And then uh, just above it, here at uh, 24.8, we have another station in um, Washington State, which is a good uh, couple thousand miles to my west. <clears throat> so you can see these are starting to come and go. Uh, fading in and out. So from 24.8 uh, if we jump to 37.5 there's another weak trace that you can just make out in the waterfall. So that 37.5 is from Iceland, and that's the first time I've ever seen that one. Really, really cool. There's a couple of weaker signals in here as well that I haven't identified yet. I'm going to try to rotate the dipole just for the heck of it. I know it should be pretty non-directional at these frequencies, but... I may be able to lower some of the uh, static pickup. Um, so from 37.5 we go to 40.75. This is the very powerful station from uh, Puerto Rico. And that's just uh, booming in. Uh, from 40.75 if we go to 45, um, let's see, 45, yeah, dot 9, you can just start to make out, there's a trace underneath that, so 45.9 is uh, an Italian station. And of course we'll we'll just bypass WWV B because that comes booming in uh, 24 hours a day here. 
even though we're over a thousand miles or about almost 1700 kilometers away from it but then we go to uh, 65.8 and that station there is from France and I'm just really floored at um, how well it's coming in so do not uh, think that you need a really specialized antenna VLF antenna to receive some of these uh, military uh, transmitter sites um, these these transmitters that we're picking up are used mostly for very long distance uh, underwater communications to uh, submarines uh, that various countries employ uh, to communicate with uh, their uh, their troops uh, and soldiers and sailors and things like that all over the world and um, just fascinating so I just wanted to um, stop here um, I'll go ahead and post this I just wanted to show you what can be done with a with a very short uh, rotatable 40 meter dipole on VLF so, 73, uh, W8BYA. Uh,